And the more you know who you are and what you want, the less you let things upset you. vendors are still getting all their stuff set up it's a little empty but it's still nice to just walk around and see what everybody's got going on we're gonna go hang out at Anthony's booth for a little bit and then once everybody starts coming in we'll walk around a little bit and see what what's going on okay so we're here at the Kickstarter booth you guys just started launched yesterday they just launched but yesterday That's just launched yesterday as you can see they've got all kinds of stuff this is all the Adidas stuff and then looks like they got all the Nike stuff over here. Jordan. Comes up to the same thing. This is a separate. Oh, okay. This is just this, the same. Exactly. If you are coming from the top. Right. So you can open up from Size either side of the backpack. That's nice. Just got a huge shout out from Seth Fowler. Make sure you go follow him, Fowler Customs. Really cool guy. Super grateful for the shout out. But I need to pick up a package. Okay. Teeter, T E T E R. Yeah, just one. All right, there it is. Shipped from LVNA, Louis Vuitton, North America. I am really excited to bring you this video. I have a really exciting unboxing that I'm about to show you guys but I want to explain what's going on in case any of you guys don't know what has happened in the past. Okay, so here's the box I'm gonna unbox, but let me explain the situation. A couple of videos ago, you will see that I talked about ordering the Supreme Louis Vuitton collaboration on my phone. I got a ton of support. Everybody was excited that I was able to do it. I also got a lot of people saying, I was scammed, I'm lying, I don't know what I'm talking about, uh, this isn't a real order, this and that. So I'm here to show you that I got my order. Now, let me walk you through what happened after the video. So about a week after the video, after I released the video, I got a text from Louis Vuitton Client Services. And it said, we're gonna call you in 30 minutes to verify your order, and you know, verify your card details, all that stuff. So I got the text, about 20 minutes later, I got a call uh, from Louis Vuitton Client Services. They then explained to me the items that were available. Now, my original order had several items. I probably had 20 items. I know I did not get all 20 items. They explained to me the items that were available. Unfortunately, only four items are available. So those four items are in here. But, there is a second part to this story. So before I unbox these and show you what I got, let me tell you the second part. So what happened uh, a day or two later, and well, let me step back. I got on the, on the phone with that uh, Louis Vuitton client services person, and I asked them, okay, is any of this stuff gonna restock? Is any of, is any of this stuff gonna be available later on? He said, uh, he wasn't sure, but what I needed to do was talk to the original person I talked to, have them, cre have them create me another wish list, and then send him a text to let him know that the wish list had been created, and then I could uh, potentially get another order. I did just that. I uh, talked to the original person that helped me place this order, and said, here are the items that I didn't get. Um, is there any way you can add these to my wish list and resubmit another order? That person uh, wrote me back. Here, let me just get my phone out. So here's the text messages that I got. I wrote to them, hey, were you able to add the second order to the wish list for me? They wrote back, hi, Jared. Yes, I was. They're likely going to be filling orders this week. So I said, great, thank you again for all your efforts, and they wrote back, you're welcome. So what does that tell me? That tells me, just as I suspected, things are not sold out. They're telling everybody things are sold out, but they're not. 
I don't see why she would say, yes, you have a second wish list and they're going to be working on those orders this week if it wasn't possible. Now, again, I'm not promising anything. I'm not saying that I'm going to get a second order. I'm perfectly happy with what I got here plus what I got at the pop-up. Totally satisfied. But if I do get a second order, I want everyone to know I do not think Louis Vuitton is sold out. I, I am getting completely lucky on this drop. I know it. I am not considering myself a super VIP or anything like that. Anyway, let's talk some more about that at the end. Let's get right into the unboxing. I've been waiting all day. I picked this up this morning. I wanted to wait till tonight to open it, um, to do this video. So let's get into this. I have not seen it. In fact, I think Lindsay wants to see it as well. So I'm gonna get Lindsay to come up here with me and she can see it as I open it. All right, I went and grabbed Lindsay because I know she's excited. I've been waiting literally all day. I picked this up as soon as the, the UPS store opened. I had to send it to the UPS store because I was flying to SneakerCon Los Angeles. The day it was going to be delivered to my house. Uh, none of my neighbors were home. They're all on vacation. So I had to redirect it to the UPS store and wait till, what is it, Tuesday mm -hmm. to pick it up. So here it is, Tuesday. Picked it up first thing in the morning. So anyway, enough talking. Let's get into it. Let's see what the items are. So there are four, is that right? There are four no, boxes is, oh, and that's the receipt. So we got one, receipts are in here. Okay, there's that. So let's just get these out here. I'll just set them right here. Some of these have little letters. Some of these have things in them. Let's see what those are. And there's that. Okay. And it says Louis Vuitton oh, in the box. Inside the box, Louis Vuitton. Okay, let's start with the littlest box first. I'm pretty sure I know what this one is. Are you going to use that one? I don't know. But this is the pocket organizer. What's it got in it? All cowhide leather. I want to fill it. You should use that one. Pocket organizer. She keeps telling me to use one because I have one that I already use. He needs a new one. We'll see. Do this one. Oh, that the... I think this is probably, yeah, so it's got this, and this is the bandana. Sweet. Don't forget how that's folded. I know. That's sweet. It's nice. So bandana there. I like the red better than the brown. Yeah, for sure. Okay, third item. I feel like they have to I kind of like shimmied it off like that. Okay, again, got the little sticker. Oh yeah, this is the scarf. I never got to fill that other one at SneakerCon. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, but it is really nice it's gonna look good the supreme oh so it says yeah. you can see here supreme sweet feels nice here, i'll set that right here okay last item that i got oh, i'm excited about this one i think this is the one Lindsay's gonna like the most Okay, and look at they did that kind of sizing on here. Yeah, so that's interesting because the sizing here, I ordered a 3L. Let's look at it, but it says extra extra large, mm -hmm. which I'm, is probably more like an XL. I'm sure that's Vuitton sizing, not Supreme sizing. Yeah. But that's sweet. I love that. The denim shirt, baseball shirt. I don't know. It doesn't look. It looks like it's going to be XL for sure. Yeah. There you have it. I'll lay that right there. So the whole point I wanted to make on this video, really, and I tried to make that point in the last video, was that I'm not VIP. I just was friendly. I struck up a conversation. I tried to make a connection. And most of the people that I saw around me were not doing that throughout the whole 22 hours in line. And all I did was strike up a conversation 
and I got this order and like I said I may be getting a second order now if I get the second order I'm gonna be really excited because it's some more of the bigger items that I didn't get on the first order again I'm not making any promises they're not making any promises but they came through on this order so I'm excited hopefully it works out I'm excited about it I like the red leather wallet I think you ought to use that let's take one more quick look at it I mean, besides the denim, I love that. I have a epi leather, that's what this leather is. I have the black epi that I've had a few years. So I think that I really like that. I wish I could get the bigger one for me. Yeah, they had the bigger one in black at the pop-up, but I passed. I like hoping, the red. Yeah, hoping to score the red. But hey, I really wanted the, this is what I wanted. I wanted the pocket, or, the pocket organizer more than anything. So glad I got that, but Cross my fingers that I got more coming. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Please add any comments, let me know what you think. Um, and I hate to say it, but there's a couple people out there that said, hey, you're lying, you're not gonna get it. Well, take a look, I got it. The more you know who you are and what you want, the less you let know, things upset you.